Okay, it was about two years ago where I quit my job, my six-figure-a-year job, to do YouTube. Hi, I'm James the Box Office Artist. Today is June 3rd, 2016. And uh, yes, it's true, um, I quit my job. So I was having fun at my original job. It was a lot of fun working in movies, but you know, I really wanted to do art that was for me. You know, something I really wanted to do, I would love to do, and I didn't know if I would ever get the chance to do it. So I thought, why don't I go ahead and take the plunge? And that's when I came up with this idea. Okay, but here's, here's the big doozy, okay? And you heard it here first. Today is, what's today? Today's June 7th. I don't think anyone's ever attempted this before. I am going to draw a piece that will have every single Star Wars character that has appeared in the movies ever in one piece. So it's all I could think about. This is something I really, really wanted to do. You know, spend nights thinking, watching all the movies over and over again and trying to figure out how I'm going to possibly make this piece. And I didn't want it to be just a small itty bitty piece. I wanted it to be this gigantic piece. I wanted people to stop and go, whoa. Okay, so I'm going to throw some boards on the floor here just to see uh, how big I want this guy to be. I have an idea in mind, so I'm going to do that first and we'll see if I want it bigger or smaller than what it is. Okay, here's the deal. Like, I'm looking at this right now. It's doable. It's doable. I, like, I've done things like this before. It's big. It's big. It's, um, it'll be impressive for sure. This is eight boards. This is eight boards. And I am so tempted to actually do a, each one this size. Which would mean this thing would be massive. It would literally be the size of my wall. So I started in the fall of 2016. The, the Force Awakens, Star Wars The Force Awakens just came out the year before. So I wanted to make sure I touched every single movie. Lots of research. And I said to myself, okay, I'm gonna give myself a year. A full year to try to get this done. Take my time. Uh, do my best with it. Give it all my heart and soul with it. Be ready for The Last Jedi when that was coming out the next year. And then my buddy, Apple De La Fuente, the owner of the Alamo City Comic Con, he said to me, hey, why don't you bring that piece when you're done? Bring it to Alamo City Comic Con and we'll display it there. We'll give you, you know, all the room that you need and we'll have a lot of fun. I said, sure. All day, all night, I did a whole bunch of this live on YouTube where a lot of you, my first subscribers, were watching me, like trying, struggling, trying to put this thing together. <laughs> Seven months, 450 hours worth of work, putting my heart, my soul, everything I had into this piece, and I loved every single minute of it.
My whole life became that piece. My whole life became Star Wars and I worked nights, uh, mornings, evenings, woke up at two o'clock in the morning, stayed up till two o'clock in the morning, working every single day. And there were times that I didn't think I was going to push it through. But looking back at all the sacrifices that I made to get this piece done, you know, when your deadline is cut in half, you really, you know, really shows what you're made of. I'll admit, there were times that I wanted to quit. There were times when I thought it was just impossible. It was just impossible. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For... Thank you for being on this journey with me. It's it's, it's been one, one amazing ride. wonderful time at Alamo City Comic Con. So many people came up, loved the piece. It was, it was so great and I was very, very happy. You know, in all honesty, like if no one really noticed it, it really wasn't for people to notice. It was for me. It was something that I wanted to do that I, I would love to do and I did it. This artwork was for me. And if nothing else came from this, I was more than happy to head back into VFX, back to my old job, but something happened. We're on our way to Lucasfilm. Okay, we are here. We just got out of the parking lot and uh, we are going to the A building. Beautiful place, though. Beautiful place. So. Man, Lucasfilm, put this guy back up here. We're in an office. The Lucasfilm, finally done. People are gonna come in, come in through here, and then they're gonna come around and look through here, all the way around here like that. I mean, I'm always blown away by the talent in our Star Wars fan community, and when I saw James's piece being shared so much around Twitter, I knew that it was making a big impact, and I knew that people here would love to see it, and, and it was a great opportunity to show him off to, to our force, so um, it was honestly a total pleasure to have him here, and actually just completely blew my mind. And then it kind of snowballed from there. <laughs> all the notoriety, all the different websites that covered this particular piece, 
And then in late 2017, I sent a tweet out to Bob Iger and to Kevin Feige because as you guys know, I'm a huge Avengers fan. If you watch my channel, I'm a huge Avengers fan. I sent them this image and I said to them, hey, look, look, I love Avengers. I would love to do something like this. And the next day, I get a call from Disney. <laughs> And in March, I got the opportunity to do my dream job, to create an Avengers piece, the ultimate MCU piece, covering all the movies before Infinity War. I can't believe that was one year ago when that happened. All that because I was willing to take that chance, to quit my job, to do something that was unknown. 450 hours worth of work over seven months, probably the greatest piece I've ever done. I have not put this together in I'd say about a year and a half, two years, a year and a half since I last put this together. So I haven't seen the full thing together in quite a while. So it'd be fun to show you guys again. Thank you guys for watching. I know a lot of you haven't heard this story before, so I just wanted to give you guys a summary just because it has been oh, like two years and this was probably the greatest piece I have ever done. Now, if you guys are interested in getting a print of this particular piece, I am actually not selling it. I'm not selling it. However, what I am going to do is if you order anything in my store, I'm going to throw in a colored print for free for you okay so my gift to you if you guys want a colored print of this just go to my store buy anything in my store and I'll just throw one in for free and I want to thank you guys for the support for helping me for for being with me I really do appreciate it if you are new here make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that like button share this video with all your friends and my name is James I am the box office artist I'm here to say keep drawing and I'll see you all next time so you might be wondering, why didn't I add to this piece? Why did I put The Last Jedi? And why didn't I put uh, Solo? Well, there's a reason for that, and a very good reason for that. Let me tell you why.